Hi everyone, this is Joe with Big Tree Solutions, and today I'm going to be taking you on a guide through our group ordering feature. So I've already logged in, um, and as you can see, there is now a group ordering button here. So if I click on group ordering, it's going to take me to where my group ordering is. Um, this is one option where you can have it. We can also put it uh, down here, so it'd say delivery, pickup, and then there would be a third box. Uh, for group ordering and when you click on it, it would take you into the group order. Uh, also, if you're on my account, uh, there is a space here as well. So you can go to it from here. So as you can see, the first thing to do is to create a new group. So let's say uh, it's a big tree test and we're going to create this group. And we're going to create some members here. I already had that one, so let's delete one of these. Uh, it, and I was on there because it uh, I was the group admin. So let's go ahead and do uh, Tim. And we're going to get uh, food for the guys in the office today. So now I've added um, my group here. So I can start a new order. And when I do this, it's going to right off the bat, it's going to ask me if I want to include everyone from this group. So maybe this is everyone in the office, uh, but today, you know, Brian's on vacation. So we're going to go ahead and remove him. Uh, I can also select all, select none. And if I want to add more members, I can do that as well. Uh, but right now, we're going to keep it with the four of us, uh, myself, Tim, Kang, and Mehdi. So the first thing I need to do here is uh, tell, tell where we're delivering this to. So now that I've gotten our who, we're going to our where. So we're going to go uh, right here. So I haven't created an order time yet, so now it's going to ask me for my order time. So when do I want my order? I want my order for, uh, let's say this is going to be for Monday. And we're going to eat at, uh, we're going to eat at, let's do 115. So then I need to set when my order needs to be placed by. Basically, this means everyone in the group needs to have placed their order by this time. So let's go to Monday and let's say uh, 1250 and then I'm going to send the invitations out immediately. So as you can see, it's saying the cutoff time is too close to the order time. So basically what we've done is we've put a safety net in there to say we, with a larger order, we want to give restaurants more time. We want to give you as the RDS more time to plan for it. So in this case, I'm actually going to set the cutoff time for Sunday night. So I'm just going to say Sunday at uh, 7.50 p.m. They need to order and then it'll be delivered the following day. So now, now that I've told them uh, who I'm ordering for, where the order is going to, and when we expect that order. Now it's going to pick up the food uh, that will be available at that time in my area. So we're going to get uh, chilies. And now it's saying there's one problem left, and obviously we're here on payment. So no payment have been, has been selected. So we're going to have a couple options here for payment. I'm going to pay for everybody. Everyone's going to pay for themselves. Or I'm going to pay, but I'm going to set a budget along with that. So let's, for example, uh, do the I will pay, but I'm going to set a budget. So what I'm doing is I'm going to say I'll pay for everything, but the max is $15 per person. I'm going to add my driver tip. We'll make that uh, as 
four of us, so let's say, uh, you know, $10 tip. And then I'm going to save my payment settings. And now I haven't selected my payment method. So over here, I've already set a credit card. So I'm going to select that. And now you can see here, I'm the group organizer. Um, it was just created. It's pending. There are four members. It's going to be delivery from Chili's. This is my credit card. And this is the total order. So during all this time, let's say you have 30 people on here, it will let you know you have four members invited and in and two with orders. Uh, you need at least two people to complete the group order. If you're the only one that orders, it's not considered a group order. So right now, if you look at the status, it's showing me all that information. It says your group order is in progress and there must be at least two members before the order can be submitted. So now that these have been sent out, I'm going to go ahead and go to my email. And as you can see, a group order was sent out from me. And we have the link here for the order. It's going to take that guest directly to the restaurant that you've chosen. So we're going to, I'm going to get chicken or beef. Let's get beef. We'll add a bowl of chili. And I want a house salad with that. Avocado Ranch, and that'll be good. So I'm going to add this item. So here's my order, it's showing me the total. Now it's saying $4.92 is due because my max set was $15. So you can see here, here's my budget. It's telling me uh, the group delivery time, my budget. So I went over. So I would have to put my card number in here. Uh, in this case, you know, I really, uh, I don't, I don't want to spend the max. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm just going to get fajitas and add the item. So now you'll see I did not go over the budget. So I currently, it's also telling me I have $2.10 under the under the budget so I could add something if I wanted so I'm gonna check out here it's just telling me thank you you've paid so as you can see I've come back to my management page and you see I've had uh, four members invited all four have ordered so it's showing me my current total uh, delivery fee the driver tip that I added and my total balance due so at this point, I can wait and let the cutoff time hit. But since I know I have everyone's order, I'm going to go ahead and finalize this group order now. So as you saw, it didn't accept my payment uh, because I actually have a faulty card in here. So I've just changed this over to a test just to show the final step. So now I finalized the group order. Uh, thank you for your group order. There's no more action at this time. So now we're going to take a look at this over on the dispatch screen. So let's go to my dispatch screen. And as you can see, uh, I have an order today that I put in. Uh, and you can see how everything's set up here. But let's go over to, uh, to Monday, which is when that order is, should be coming through. So here we go. Now you see uh, the group order is going to be larger than the normal order. Uh, if I go back here, you see, uh, oh, now it's, it's taking me, but let's see. Let's go uh, back to today, and you'll notice the difference in the size of the order. So, um, you know, you can pull this up, and just like any other order, it's just going to show you everything. Uh, and basically, that is uh, group ordering in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at bigtreesolutions.com. I uh, hope you all have a great day and enjoy this new feature.